Yo, today we got the backstory of Laser Them 700, bruh. Let's get it. See, Laser Them is a 21-year-old rapper. He's been making music since 2018. And the thing is, he records all his songs on BandLab and uses his iPhone and his Apple earbuds as a mic. Now, if you're watching Damn. this, you probably didn't heard Laser Them's most popular song called Asia Rock. But you were probably very skeptical because you don't understand what Laser was going for. Anything that you didn't heard from Laser, the songs probably weren't mixed, but they were catchy, right? Why do you- I go cap though, son. Like, to say, like, his songs, like, don't be mixed and, like, his process of recording, like, using BandLab and stuff like that. I ain't gonna lie, bro. He be doing his thing, bro. Like, he definitely, he definitely nice. I ain't gonna cap. Like, some of his songs be sounding a little shaky. But, like, for the most part, like, bro hard. I ain't gonna cap. Like, especially, like I said, the the way he, his whole process, like, that's crazy. Seeing him on your timeline, does he actually take music serious? What if I told you he does it? Because at a point in his life, he did. But no one cared. No one tuned in. But in this video, I explain why and really who is Laser Them and what truly is his backstory. Because everybody want to talk about how he's so lit now. But nobody wants to talk about the real history with Laser. You watching DUTIE? Go ahead and subscribe. Let's get started. As a kid, Laser Them was moving around a lot. At this point, he was on the south side of Atlanta, east. Wes, etc. He really grew up in just all of Atlanta. He really explained that he just didn't grow up on one side of Atlanta. He was really everywhere, man. You know? And while growing up, making music was his favorite thing to do. It didn't seem like a job or something that he wanted to make money off. He just wanted to rap. He didn't care for the numbers. He would watch Lil Wayne all the time because all he wanted to do was just be like him. But what truly got him started <laughs> that he seen his mom boyfriend making a song one day. And Laser thought in his head, I'm gonna do the same thing. He explained during his time he was like second grade and his mom boyfriend second had the grade. studio set up and everything already damn in the bank. second grade but then he been at it then he been at it with the music though that's crazy like that go to show you like shit just take time son like it's only a matter of time where a motherfucker get noticed bro and i ain't lying bro this definitely his year he's doing he's definitely doing this thing i see i see he dropped like consistently too like he he dropped like damn that every every week at least like for the most part so Bro, just keep it up, son. Laser doing his thing, son. So he would go down there trying out stuff probably, and that's how he really just got started. And throughout the years, Laser ended up making his name, as we know today, by making a Facebook account with his brother. And when he first made it, it was just supposed to be Laser Them, because it was two people that owned the account, so they were going to go with that. But his brother told him, nah, change the word them to them, and that's why we have Laser Them. But in 2018, that's when you started seeing that Laser Them was pushing this rap agenda, because during this time, Trillers, Audio Man, and bro. That's the one thing about him, brother. He stay with a wood in his mouth, son. That little, that little bitch always loaded in every step of the day. Every time I see this man, whether he on live, whether he in a music video, whether he in the vlog, this nigga definitely got a wood sparking up somewhere. That's one thing. That's one thing I could say about the little bit. The three biggest things when it comes to underground, and you can see that Laser took advantage of this, cause you can find old videos of him rapping, making songs that would sound a lot similar to this rapper named Splurge. Because in 2018, Splurge was huge. He was the only rapper during that time making songs with no melodies at all. So yeah, his videos out there of Laser as a youngin doing trillers in the studio and making yeah, songs off his phone. Best. Sometimes he'll upload like small EPs and mixtapes on Audio Mac, but you can't find that stuff now. But you know. Things didn't really become official for Laser until 2021 because that's when he started uploading his songs onto real platforms like Spotify, SoundCloud, and Apple Music. He would drop singles here and there, but he didn't bother dropping albums or EPs or anything like that. Boom, 2022 came around, that's where things picked up. He released this album called The World Is Yours, and people messed with it, but he didn't have any visuals. No promo, no nothing really oh. behind him. He was just rapping, you know, Nigga because that's all he wanted to do. And that's what started to mess up Laser Mental as he was making music in 2022. And and early 2023 because he will upload these songs but it wasn't as much attraction that he wanted he said it himself that he was taking music so serious during this time but nobody really wanted to tune in he was uploading trailers he even dropped about two or three tapes in 2023 but damn was nigga damn all the fucking tapes in one year that nigga that nigga work ethic is unmatched i ain't gonna cut that nigga be doing his diddy shit really took him serious nobody really cared that's what he explained yeah some people listening to him but he wanted more but in 2023 that's when laser changed the whole path 
for his career because he took his own money and said you know what i'm gonna go get some visuals done that's when you see his first music video come out because it's facts bro music videos can be the boost for that's your career but anybody you can't just dang. upload music and that be it nah we want to see personality and yeah, people gotta see personality like that's the biggest thing with rappers like bro you gotta be able to showcase your personality like that's the biggest thing like nigga could know that you know how to rap and shit but like People be wanting to know you as a person. Like, you got to really learn the artist. For real, for real, you know? For laser whole life change. Because bro had cut off his dress, and he started uploading daily when it came to trailers. You would randomly see them on Twitter, IG. The underground for Twitter was hot during this time. Like, really, really hot. If the right person was supposed to find you on Twitter, and you had a catchy or a meme song, you were going to get that spark that you needed. You know what I'm saying? To boost your career. That's what Nespin had. But Laser them himself didn't even know that he was going to be the next one. Because he uploaded a trailer, and people caught on real fast. Because nobody understood the music. The mixing was so rough but he had a catchy flow and he was rapping on these dark plug type beats and people caught on and it became to a point where it wasn't even promo people were just retweeting and trying to like either make fun of it or saying that this sounded different and nobody really called the music trash they really just thought it was funny because we haven't even heard anything like this so the fans <laughs> and him posting himself on twitter was really what blew up laser and at this point he only had a little bit of buzz at first but in late january you seen that laser was with bk the ruler Tana, and do up king and laser Damn, took advantage with bk I ain't never know that. Bro, this nigga got a long ass history that I didn't know about, bro. Like, what? Shout out to so he Laser, was dropping though. music videos back to back and he caught the eyes of Black Boy Max because Max himself seen a lot of potential in Laser and decided to put him in a song wars that I was a part of and there was tons of rappers in there and during these song wars you know every man is for themselves it's really just seeing who can make the best song but the twist is they have to spin the wheel and whatever type beat you get you have to choose that beat and use it and try your best to make a good song out of it and Laser was the rapper to stand out the most because he was not only funny he had a lot of personality but his songs were so catchy and so different than any other song that was played that the whole five star community loved him man. and it's oh, crazy, crazy because he made his best songs on this stream when the finito remix came out and asian rock came out people just kept playing those songs over and over again and to this day those are his biggest songs right now and like i said it was tons of rappers in this event so this Girl, whole why thing this nigga had a random ass for breeze can in his pocket just not a we not about to just speed past that bullshit like what is he doing bro this nigga lays a funny son. <laughs> when I came out, people just kept playing those songs <laughs> over and over like again. And to this legend. day, those are his biggest songs right now. And like I said, it was tons of rappers in this event. So this whole thing was trending on TikTok. Laser was the one to trend the most, but but everybody knew about this event. Even people found out about me because I was a part of it too. So if somebody was to ask you, yo, how did Laser blow up? Most people are going to say it was because of Max. Yeah. Because he's a genuine guy that added him during the Song Wars. And nah, that really shout out to Max though, bro. I ain't lying. Max definitely like... Uh, he ain't necessarily create this nigga career, but he did like boost boost his name basically. Like now more people know him, type shit. Like big big A list celebrities, fucking you know big streamers and shit. Now he he really getting you know the credit he deserves. I should his career laser just got more consistent bro he was dropping almost every week music videos back to back and right after that max got him on a stream again to do a 20v1 and this only created more exposure for laser than when it came to personality because people just started to love laser for him being himself because you know he's from the hood man you know everything he's saying in songs is true and people just love his music because they can relate with crazy to say but this boosted his whole career man for him just being him like one of his that's lyrics that's crazy. really trending on tiktok is that trap so old gotta run out the house so the roof <laughs> and if you look at the TikTok, the roof is really bent in, bro. He's not true. Look at the roof, bro. Don't fall up on me. And if you look at Duh. the TikTok, the roof is. Duh, look at this nigga roof, gang. And look how he stand, bro. This is crazy. Like, he really rapping with he living, though. That's the funny part, son. Like, bro, bro just in the trap house, just cool. And, like, bro, this nigga. Bent in, bro. He's not troll. Another catchy lyric. He said, I don't got a bed, I got an air bed. And while on live saying this lyric, he said, Hold on, y'all. Let me actually put some air inside my air bed. I got no bed, I got an air bed. Here this top to leave his head. I got no bed, I got an air bed. Here this top trying to leave his head. I gotta pump my bed up. Man. That's There's crazy, little... yeah. <laughs> this nigga really had to pump the bed, brother. Like, what the fuck?
stuff like that that just keeps him relevant and people love that about him he just being him and this year has just been going up for him man he's getting those cosigns he's getting those interviews he's getting that engagement and a smart thing that laser did for himself was drop his album called enjoy recently and start performing he was just well, with Osama Sun, he next ben, and molly santana performing and stuff like that he just doing what he gotta do and even though kai and lil yachty didn't like yeah, his they, song they the most they, they still reacted to it and he still got exposure off of this and he's currently on tour right now performing with two solid dirt ball and just making bro, a bigger name for himself bro, and this nigga performing on game bro that's man shout out to lizzo though bro like i ain't lying like i fuck with you like sticking to your journey even when niggas was hating bro that's that's fire i ain't gonna cap son but out the most about laser them is that he said himself that he used to take his old music a lot more serious but with the new music that he makes he doesn't take it serious and people mess with that more because whole time he was trying so hard That's but he crazy. didn't even know himself that all he needed to do was showcase his personality and make some visuals that's it because the reason why laser is standing out more than anybody in underground right now is because he's not the mysterious type and he is the most relatable underground rapper out right now he doesn't have to put on all black and dye his hair and all you know what i'm saying yeah, he just he doesn't just have to do none of that. He just really himself. He's from the hood, man. This is what we needed. We needed someone that we can relate to without without them having some aesthetic or being mysterious and not talking to their fans. Laser goes live every was, day on that his was IG definitely, account. That was low-key definitely like a lot of Cardi fans this. Like that was a Cardi fans this definitely. I ain't gonna lie. All, all them opium niggas who, who underground rappers, that's who he just dissed all y'all niggas talk to his fans literally he got a whole lingo for himself and his fans they say it all the time look twins like you know how long it's been since we've seen something like this because the music is already there for laser we know he's good we know he can switch up the flow but we haven't even seen laser full potential yet so this is just special and that's why laser has the hype he has right now but y'all let me know how y'all feel about laser it's d-u-t-i-e i'm not sensing myself for no bitch don't forget to follow my kick and my ig right now but i love y'all so much y'all stay blessed peace Nah, though, man. Shout out to Laser, bro. I ain't lying, though. I fuck with Laser, though. Like, now that I got a more in-depth, like, look into his life and seeing, like, seeing his come up, like, he definitely, he nice, bro. I fuck with Laser, though. But, little bitch, drop some more hits, bro. Keep them coming, bro.